Okay, we are starting a new chapter. I'm saying goodbye to triangles for a little bit, which is very exciting for some of you. Um, first of all, we're talking about finding angle measures in polygons. Um, a polygon. Polygon's a many-sided figure. We learned that early on this year. Um, and basically, to figure out the angle measures, the interior angles, we would take any polygon and separate it into triangles. These are called diagonals. I apologize, I have my squeaky pen today. My other pen is not with me. So these red things are called diagonals. I split that polygon, which is actually a pentagon, into three triangles. Um, so the interior measurement of that polygon would actually be 360 degrees. Let me double check that. Hold on. Sorry, 540 degrees. Um, the diagonal of a polygon is a segment that joins two non-consecutive vertices. So I put two diagonals here. Um, as you can see, the diagonals from one vertex form triangles. Uh, and we're going to use that as a way to figure out how many, what the interior angles of a polygon is. So here we have our first theorem, theorem 8.1, polygon interior angle theorem. The sum of the measures of the interior angles of a convex n-gon, which is a many, however many there is, polygon is n minus 2 times 180 degrees. So in this example, n is the number of vertices, because it is an n-gon, so this is a 6-gon which is actually a hexagon, um, but we would plug in 6 minus 2 times 180 degrees. 6 minus 2 is 4, 4 times 180, oh goodness, sorry, is 720 degrees. So that's the answer. The interior angles of this polygon is 720 degrees. Corollary to theorem 8.1, interior angles of a quadrilateral. A quadrilateral is four-sided. Um, that would be 360 degrees. So example one, find the sum of the measures of the interior angles of a convex octagon. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we we'll just plug in eight into the equation, n minus two times 180 degrees. 8 minus, oops, 8 minus 2 is 6. So 6 times 180 is 1080 degrees. It is that simple. Example 2. The sum of the measures of the interior angles of convex polygon is 900. Classify the polygon the Classify the polygon by the number of sides. We're doing this one backwards. I have n, this is my equation, n minus 2 times 180 gives me the number, gives me the measurement of the interior angles. We know that this time, so I need to solve for n. I'm going to divide both sides by 180. n minus 2 equals 5. Add 2 to both sides, n equals 7. This is a 7, so hopefully you would remember that is a heptagon. Make sure I'm right on that one. Yes, it's heptagon, because it actually said to classify. So that was the actual answer. Going back to the other slide. Okay, you try. The coin shown is in the shape of a regular... 11 gone. Find the sum of the measures of the interior angles. And then the sum of the measures of the interior angles of a convex polygon is 1,440 degrees. Classify the polygon by the number of sides. Hold on, I missed something on the last slide. So with number two, we need to classify the polygon by the number of sides. I'm going to push pause. You're going to work the problem on your own in your notes. Okay, for number one, the sum of the interior angles is 1,620. And for number two, I classified the polygon as a decagon because n equals 10. 
Example three, find an unknown interior angle measure. Okay, um, for this one, we know what the equation is. This is just adding, adding some algebra to it. So first, I know that um, this is a quadrilateral, and that corollary said that quadrilaterals, their interior angles add to 360. So I can set that up. 108 plus 121 plus 59 plus x should equal 360 degrees. And I'm going to solve. So collect all your like terms. 108 plus 121 plus 59 is 288. Subtract 288 from both sides. x equals 72 degrees. Pretty simple. Um, in your homework, you may need to figure out what this value is first, but just by saying for this one, n equals 4. So 4 minus 2 times 180 equals 360. So you may have to figure out what that is. You try. I'm going to push pause. Okay. Um, you can figure it out. For number three, use the diagram at the right to find the measure of angle S and T. They are equal, which means you can actually put a variable to both of them, okay, X and X. And remember, X plus X is 2X. Number four, find the measures of three of the interior angles of a quadrilateral, okay, the fourth one is going to be X and you're solving for x. Push pause. Okay, I have the measure of angle S and T as 103, and if you look, I added up all the interior angles and set it equal to 540. I got 540 by using theorem 8.1. 5 minus 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 minus 2 times 180 is 540. I collected like terms, 334 plus 2x equals 540. I subtracted 334 from both sides and got 206 equals 2x. Divided both sides by 2, x equals 103. So this angle and this angle are both 103 degrees. Degrees. Okay, number 4, we know that the quadrilateral, the interior angles equal 360 degrees because that's the corollary. So I collected all my like, I wrote down all the angles and I collected my like terms, subtracted 245 from both sides and got x equals 115 degrees. All right, theorem 8.2, polygon exterior angles theorem. The sum of the measures of the exterior angles of a convex polygon, one angle at each vertex is 360 degrees. That means this is a pentagon. So the sum of the ex exterior angles, one angle at each vertex, equals 360 degrees. No matter what your n is, you're always going to have 360 degrees. No matter what n is, you're always going to have 360 degrees. What is the value of x in the diagram shown? Let's see, I've got one, two, three, a um, quadrilateral. I've got four exterior angles. If I add up those four exterior angles, it's always going to equal 360 degrees. No matter how many angles, no matter how many vertices, you always um, they always add up to 360 degrees. So now you're going to collect like terms. 89 plus 67 is 156, x plus 2x is 3x, subtract 156 from both sides, so I'm um, sorry, I got sidetracked, so yeah, I'm subtracting 156 from both sides, 3x equals, sorry, 360 minus 156 is 204, Divide both sides by 3, x equals 68, 
Cool. All right, you try. Okay, I'm going to push pause. Convex hexagon, exterior angles. What's the measure of the sixth vertex? Push pause. X equals 77 degrees. Okay, another example. The trampoline shown is shaped like a regular dodecagon. Find the measure of each interior angle and the measure of each exterior angle. If you remember, regular means um, all the angles measure equally. And the sides are actually equal, too. They're congruent. So, um, dodecagon. What is a dodecagon? Let's see, 12. Dodecagon is 12. So, the measure of the interior angles, we're using this equation. And putting in 12. That would be 1,800 degrees, part A. Um, the measure of one angle is going to be divide that by 12 because they're all equal. So each angle is 150 degrees. That's each interior angle. Okay, let's turn the page to find the exterior angles. Yeah, 150. I'm sorry. All right, let's go back to the beginning. So if we have 12 interior angles, we have 12 exterior angles too. So 12 times an exterior angle is going to be equal to 360 degrees. If we divide everything by 12, your exterior angles are going to be 30 degrees a piece. One more. Nope. This is the answer. Yay. Page and back one more. Okay, you try. An interior angle of an adjacent exterior angle of this polygon. Sorry, let me read that again. An interior angle and an adjacent exterior angle of this polygon form a linear pair. How can you use this fact as another method to find the exterior angle? Measure in example five. So, we're just going to do this. Um, whatever. I know it's not a dodecagon. You don't want me to draw a dodecagon, though. That would be awful. So here's your exterior angle, and here is your interior angle. <clears throat> if your interior angle is... Oh, hold on. 18. I think I got 150. I'm going to page back a minute and check something out. All right, so on this one, um, the interior angle was 150, and then we figured out the exterior angle was 30. What does that equal? 180 degrees, which is a linear pair. Right? They're supplementary. So we really didn't have to go the, through the work to find. We did 360 divided by 12. We could have just subtracted from 180. Okay, your daily homework quiz. Number one, number two, and... Number three and number four. You got this, though. Two points. Super simple, right?